this is the Provoked Prawn, and this is a video to compare two similar and yet quite different gaming headsets. The SteelSeries Arctic 9 and the Corsair HS80. These are both wireless gaming headsets, and they're quite similar in some ways and quite different in others. You'll see that they both have a ski goggle headband design, for example, and the Corsair HS80 offers high res audio with 96 kHz 24 bit audio when plugged in on PC while the Steel Series has some features that include Bluetooth connectivity that make it appealing for other reasons. So they're two quite different headsets, and yet quite similar in some ways as well. Obviously similar in price point, and more importantly, in the quality of audio and mic capture. Now I've unboxed and reviewed both these headsets separately, so if you'd like to hear the microphone and find out more about the headset as well as the software, be sure to check out the review links in the description. As you can see, the Corsair HS80 comes with a slipstream wireless dongle, USB-C cable, and a license for Dolby Atmos. The headset automatically recognizes Dolby Atmos when you plug it in to PC. As long as you have the Dolby Access app installed, you can then get Dolby Atmos virtual surround sound. And that's how you get your virtual surround sound and positional audio out of this headset. And it does a great job in that way. It uses 50 mil drivers to deliver up to 40,000 hertz frequency response. And as I said, if you plug it in, you can also get 96 kilohertz, 24 bit sample rate, which means you get high res, high quality sound on PC. Wirelessly, you can also get up to 48,000 hertz in terms of the sample rate. So it still delivers a fantastic sound even when wireless. You'll see it has a flip to mute microphone and that mic has fantastic capture quality. And you can hear that microphone in the review if you want to find out what it's like. It is one of the best microphones on a gaming headset, but the SteelSeries Arctic 9 also has a fantastic one. The SteelSeries has a retractable mic that you'll see buried in there. And you're gonna note some similarities in the design. For example, both headsets have a sort of pivot system where the ear cup turns at the bottom so you can turn it round to adjust it to fit your head. Both have this ski goggle sort of headband design where you have a material headband that sits on top of your head while the proper outer headband sort of hangs above that. You can adjust those and I'll show you that in a minute. Again, you can hear the microphone in the review of this headset, but you'll find that both have great mics and deliver good sound quality. Now I said that the SteelSeries Arc Design offers a bit more in terms of connectivity. You can see that it has this dongle that you can use on PC or PlayStation. That dongle plugs in with a USB connection and then allows you to get that wireless connectivity. But what it also does is it also has a 3.5 mil jack on it. So you can plug a 3.5 mil connection into it, which is really neat. It has a micro USB charging cable Obviously you can use that for charging purposes and you have a jack on the headset for a 3.5 mil connection as well. Another thing is that you have Bluetooth connectivity and I'll show you a bit more about what that means later on. So what you're seeing is a lot more connection options for the Steel Series headset. This headset has a DTS headphone X for virtual surround sound and it has 40 mil drivers instead of 50 that are available on the HS80. It goes up to 20,000 Hertz frequency response. So it hasn't got quite the same range as the HS80 in terms of the audio delivery. However, it's still a great headset with great sound. Now the Corsair HS80 has a very nice setup in terms of comfort. It's the most comfortable Corsair headset that I've tried. And it's not just because of this strap based design, it's because of the ear cups, but I'm more on that in a minute. You'll see that the headband has a little bit of a faux leather setup on this material strap and then that then sits on top of your head. You're able to adjust it on the inside with some velcro ties that basically stick it onto the outer headband and you can lengthen it or shorten it to adjust to the size of your head. I said in the review that I thought that maybe if your head is huge you might find that this strap system doesn't quite work properly, can't get the headset to be long enough because it Obviously the headband itself doesn't extend in any way. And so you're kind of limited. Now my head isn't massive, but I did find that occasionally the bottom of the ear cups were tugging on the bottom of my ear and I kept having to pull the headset down. Still, 
I think if you have a normal size head or a small head, you will find this headset to be incredibly comfortable. It has these material ear cushions, which are magnificently comfortable and very soft. They're a cloth material, which is very similar to the material used on the Logitech G Pro X Wireless or the Astro 50. Really, really soft. They're also ear shaped nice and deep and give it a good bit of soft cushioning. They obviously don't block out a lot of external noise, but they do keep your ears comfortable during the day and they're easy to wear for hours and hours. And this is high praise for a Corsair headset because all the other ones I've tested previously have been uncomfortable after a while, but I found this one ridiculously easy to wear. Also, the way the ear cups pivot means that it sits nicely on your head and that join there is also an aluminium setup, so it should last and last. Now, the SteelSeries headset has been this sort of strap-based design for a while. You'll see the Arctic Pro Wireless on the right here, very similar setup. SteelSeries have got a tried and tested design that they've been using for a while, and they're carrying on using it with the Arctic 9, and you can see the sort of difference between it. The headband strap is basically the same sort of logic, except it goes up and over the top, and then you can adjust it that way. You can also replace this strap and change it out for other ones with a different look and style to them. Now the ear cups are worth discussing because these aren't anywhere near as comfortable as those on the Corsair HS80. They use this material, which unfortunately is quite scratchy and uncomfortable. I don't find them terribly nice. The good thing about them though is that they can be removed. Again, they are large enough and deep enough for most ears and you should find there's a good bit of comfort in that way and the fact that you can take them off obviously means that you can upgrade them or change them for other ones in the future unfortunately you can't remove the ear cups on the hs80 and so you're not able to do this but with the steel series headset you can remove them and you can also swap them out for other ones. Here you can see some official Steel Series faux leather ear cups that I also happen to have. And you can fit those over the Arctic 9 quite easily. There's just a lip around the outside and they hook over and go on. This is a small little upgrade. And now we have faux leather ear cups that block out a bit more external noise and are more comfortable too. These aren't included in the box. They're an additional purchase. But it is nice to be able to do this and to change up the look and feel of it make it more comfortable perhaps increase the audio presence by blocking out more external noise and just improve the comfort so it's nice to have that option and that unfortunately doesn't exist on the hs80 so what you're seeing so far is two headsets that are quite different the hs80 offers a much more comfortable fit and also has a interesting setup with a simple design with basically wired and wireless connectivity no 3.5 mil no Bluetooth, but it does have a great mic and great sound with Dolby Atmos, virtual surround sound, and a number of different EQ settings. It has a power button and volume wheel on the headset itself, and you can press that volume wheel in to switch between the EQ settings within Corsair's IQ software, as long as that software is running. The Steel Series headset, meanwhile, has a lot more controls on the ear cups, as you'll see. You have a game and voice chat balance wheel on the left hand side on that ear cup there. You can roll it one way to focus the audio more on your game or the other way to focus more on the voices of your friends in Discord, for example, so you can hear more of them. On the other side, you have a mic mute button and obviously the volume wheel as well. Now the mic is retractable, but retracting it doesn't mute it. And it does have a little light on it to let you know when it's muted, but it's obviously you have that button to press, whereas the HS80 has a flip to mute microphone, so a slightly different setup. Now, one of the most appealing things about the Arctic 9 in my mind is the Bluetooth connectivity. You can press and hold this button on here and then pair it with a Bluetooth device. So for example, if I'm using my phone, I can play it with that and then I can listen to music on my phone through the headset while also listening to things on PC. So whether you're playing games, and got the audio from that, and then Spotify as well, and audio from that via your phone. So you have a dual connectivity setup, which is obviously fantastic, and allows you to have two audio sources at once. You can also obviously use the 3.5 mil connection on the dongle to do things like mic monitoring, or to plug in another device and have audio from that. So you have a load of different connectivity options with the Arctic 9, 
which makes it slightly more appealing. It's a lot more flexible and it will work with a lot more devices. The Corsa headset is designed to work with PlayStation and PC, but they do note that you'll get a better audio experience on PC and you also have the virtual surround sound offering on PC as well. Whereas the Arctic 9 is designed to work with more devices, it'll work with PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, anything with a 3.5mm or Bluetooth connection, obviously PC with wired and wireless connectivity options as well. So it's a lot more versatile. However, the audio on the HS80 is superior thanks to that high res 24-bit 96kHz audio when plugged in on wired. It also has bigger drivers, a more comfortable fit, and an overall very nice aesthetic to it with a clear microphone and some really nice looks. So what you're seeing is two quite different headsets with a variety of features. Which would I choose? Probably the Arctis 9 because it has a lot more connectivity. But in terms of comfort, the HS80 is absolutely fantastic and has really good sound. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.